Geneva, if you are Sunday, so why are not even as active as one time? No, no. Your team, so I'm gonna say the beach is lovely on a night. Look on that, we a stadium, we a stadium light bomb. I want to do a vlog on a Sunday, why? Too much music. Too much music. Ah, oh, crap, dick. Eh. Ah, what a special for me. Jamaica nice people. Jamaica nice. They are ultra right now. Four more. On a Sunday, I know how. I'm a steamer 658. Yeah. Beach as busy as one time, so now I'm gonna come, and I'll come here on a, on a Sunday. I have a lot more people. Party hot. Yeah, but right now. It's calm right now, Mr. Caroline. Try me love me. So I'm brother early really, and say fish them now pick me. I don't know if I full moon. Fish them now pick bro. But right now I have five flags to go do. I'm going to do night fishing. With one of my neighbors, I'm used to live a bridge view. So I can look out for that. I'm going to do night fishing. I did it before in 2017 and it was really, it was a wonderful experience. Like, very nice. So I'm gonna drop something like that. I'm saying I'm gonna do the vlog thing your part and I'm gonna travel a lot people. I may have multiple business them so we can rental and sales of a farm right now where we are grow. So that's why I'm even near my channel, Jamaica business travel. Travel plus wildlife. So I have a lot of things for me and that's wildlife. You know, you know the experience being being in a the car rental business over here now, selling renting and selling car. What it's like, you know, day to the activities as well. I go and go do some same way. I'm well on nine to five and work multiple business that start to start to part time. Yes, it can be done. You know, you just have to organize because me has a link up. Me has a link up with Jamaica in. Do the TV which I'm a little brother channel and uh, follow him and me look funny because when he come to me he come to me and say I start the, the channel and I said do it got an idea how we used to do how we are little we are kids and that's what we used to do catch fish shoot bird that is our thing that's the like fun and say you know what the difference is that now we have YouTube where you can video you can create content for people who want to be, you know, who are hunters who want to see the beauty of the country, things that are hidden, who are known to a lot of people, you know, and see the Jamaican, real raw Jamaican culture. So, uh, I was one of the persons who advised them to say, yeah, man, do it. I'm looking into it. I mean, I say, I travel a lot, I do business a lot, I move around a lot, I link with them now and then, help them out. I started something part time too. I not take, not take much time to record this, edit it up and put up it. I not take, I not take a lot of, I not take a lot of out of me. And my life is showcase people as what it's like to travel. Wow, 
walk on a sweaty. I've been multiple businesses around and still I'm a fiance all long a regular work from home jobs. And I build up with things, I build with empire. I no idea you know. You have to live something in the world and you have to make an impact on this world. What are you here for? You just live stuff, you just try to survive. Or you are here for strive. You make an impact, live something in this society. You know, for others, your kids can live on through. Others can say, oh, that I'm legacy. That is or her legacy, you see me? Long when you're gone, things, the people still remember you. Yeah. You have to make an impact. You have to put out the work. You have to get yourself organized. You have to be disciplined, committed. And when I tell you sometimes it's really hard to do because it's a lot of things that, you know, a lot of distractions, a lot of things that cause that cost you your focus. So you have to know what you want and what you're willing to sacrifice. I look for a friend them for all them. I tell them, you know, I don't always kind of play to see if you know. The definition of being an entrepreneur. A crazy person who risks their own money for freedom. What are you willing to risk? What are you willing to sacrifice to reach to the next level? I don't know where right now. I have a lot of work to do. The dreams them so big, more while they scare me. And let me know some I'm onto something. When you start dreaming so big and they start scaring you, they yeah, say, yeah. You know you're hard for something, which is very good. Just put in your work, just hustle, remain focused, be disciplined, be committed, be consistent to what you're doing. Because any idea, you're going to see the results. You're going to see the results over time. It's going to take time, you're going to have frustration, you're going to have calm, but you're going to be, sometimes motivation is not, not going to be there. But what are you going to do? Just quit. In a rental business, in the last three months, you lose almost half a million in a rental and farming. I'm looking for my friend who up to last time. I'm still here. Because I'm learning from Anderson being an entrepreneur. So guess what? You are going to lose. You are going to lose money. You are going to lose friends and family. Because honestly, now, I kind of feel more lonely than ever than ever before. And I look funny that the more you level up, the more you start pushing towards your goals, them, that is part of the process. You have to shed people. You have to lose friends and family. But the ones that are hungry like you, want to be a part of your journey, and want to see the vision, and want to be a part of the thing, so they can make for them impact, and be a part of your know, progress growth are going to stay there, they are going to be there but the one them when they say this all more talk nothing does be a talk, talk, talk not taking action, not really be sacrifice I'm going to tell people, you know, I say it's good, school is very good school provided the foundation but school will never make you wealthy school will never make you Live make that type of impact on society. Self education, networking, that's what going to get that done. That's what is that that that, that that's what I'm gonna make you reach the next level. Self education, school is very important. God to me I look at him. So what was this school I've already done for me was to provide me with a network of people who know who are in society have a certain type of job or position which we can utilize. And it me get a, can get a job. Anytime I want, I can get a job. I struggle in business, then I say, all right, you know, now I quit, but ease up off a little and say, I get some money, some money, if I push on business, if I boost it, I can't look at 9 to 5, I can get a job. I can't because I have education. School provides me with that, the foundation, in terms of education also, a network of people from college, high school, which I come in handy. I come in handy, I'm not alive. I've been on job, job interview already, and <laughs> as somebody from you. <laughs> but that even, I don't know it was for this interview, I've ever been in. We just, we just actually just a talking at the interview. Just literally a talk. I say, you know what? Uh, we don't know. I get the job already. <laughs> we get the job already. 
I would just go on like we are doing something. Just, you know, put on a show. But you get the job. You get the job already. Big up yourself, squid. Big up yourself, squid. Never forget the first job out of college. So, boy, I'm not telling about some fierce years struggles are you It was some sweet and bitter moments while studying at the university. And I had a rough experience in my life, to be honest. And I'm going to exam hungry like that. I almost not eat, I have a study, I have a study and hungry Berlin and still go and I still go and get a C, C plus pass the course yeah. and those are experiences I will never forget. I will tell myself I never want to go back to that. Never want to go back to that. Even me decide to me go back to school for my education. I realize being an entrepreneur, to be honest, that's him. After your first degree, you don't really need family education as a man anymore. Some people are going to say, I oh, disagree, disagree with me. I always say, let, 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 let me PhD and the masters to the woman. Family education, in terms of first degree, masters upward is for females. Man, you have to learn to take risks. You have to be a man. You see me? One thing about to be different from a woman. A woman never be a man. A man will get up and take risks and gamble and take certain risks, calculated risks, and it will eventually pay off. That's why I say most of the richest people in the world and people have make an impact. Like the business, they're leeching them, they're on them, they're still at them in Jamaica. Any big businessman, you look man, most of them, they, those are not, some of them not even have not even high school level education. You can't tell this to the youth, them have their first degree youth. You don't need to kill up yourself going to a master's and a PhD. I want them to study about the game, the world. After a certain level of education, you don't need to continue and go up like that. Let that to your females, your wife, your daughter your niece, your cousin them, make them go, send them guys to go study and make them put them in your business then for grow them. Do that. Yeah, as a man right now, you have to get serious. You have to be willing to start taking risks. You have to be willing to fail. You have to be willing to lose money. You have to be willing sometimes. This dream is so big, it's scary about this one. I put in work, I get myself organized, I get the rights of people around me to make things happen. And that's the reality. So I never to do a vlog right now. But I end up saying I actually can't do one. Because the music kind of calm down. I'm just a showcase and a talk. I wish I could have shown them more still. But there's a lot of music up here by Elsha right now. So I'm going to do one vlog in a week. I'm going to come over here showcase the landscape, the food, and what the culture over here is like in a week. Hopefully, we get some time. Yeah. So, welcome officially to my second video I will post up on YouTube, the Jamaica Business Travel TV and Wildlife Plus. I have a lot of things in store. I have a lot of things in store for you guys. Yeah, we can, you know, more and share my experience, my knowledge with people, showcase Jamaica, you know, the culture, wildlife, what's like in Jamaica, it's like in Jamaica doing business. You know, pushing the boundaries, pushing yourself. Yeah. And I just want to just be a part of the journey. You know, only see what it's like. The life of a Jamaican entrepreneur. I'm not the lie, people. <laughs> they are the one copy. Right now, a, a Roman thing. I'm not normally drink. And see the me have been up second for book. Just drink one guineas and just for my health shop. Actually a dragon, not a guineas, a dragon. So just a day you know, I look over a place. Right now, I'm gonna do all the next vlog, I'm gonna showcase um the food and Jamaica culture over here, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna do one next vlog where I'm gonna do um fishing. I'm gonna catch fish that one of my neighbor Barry. I'll catch fish and then pick there, you see me? So, you can look out for that pretty soon. 
but the place is nice. See there, hell shop. Big old tower because right now the whole like beach right now, the beach is so gone. So <laughs> you have to go and enjoy it while it's here. You know, guys, it's not the last labor. So you just know, have to go and enjoy the moment and make it best of your time here on earth. You see me? What, what are you going to do to make an impact on this world, to make an impact on your community, your country, the world at large? Are you willing to push the boundaries, make the sacrifice, plan, execute? Yeah. Nah, like, you know, it's not an easy road. Not an easy road. I have my fear, she has struggles, failures. Nah, like, I have a fear, she has struggles and failures. Still, I learn. Right now, they half a million dollars in there. In three months, you lose half a million dollars in Jamaica. That's rough. And that's a lesson I will never forget. It does a chain of reaction that set off. One of my vehicles, them crash, climb, crash, one of my vehicles, them lose my chicken on the farm. Then they lick the other vehicle, them. It does a chain of reaction that set off. We still there, I give thanks. Still there, still a generate income. It does not as fast as it used to be. I have people with money right now, clients with money the same way. But I know it's my money out there. Money is coming the same way. I have a new job with a pipeline. I have a good money. But I don't tell myself, I'm not really in the circle. If I go sell 8 9 hours of my time 5 days a week, it has to make financial sense. In terms of, I can use that income to actually push on my business, then to boost them. And my goal is not to work with nobody long term. My goal is to grow my business them to a level that I can provide jobs to people. I can make an impact on my community and the country at large. I can really do something that are, that's going to help others. That's my motivation. I'm not the person that's all for myself and everything. Very kind, friend, loving, willing to help people. People come out to jobs, I always help them out and I refer. Say, yo, can't play over this so one. They can't provide little work, I go part time, or on the farm, or you know, anything they do it because I love to help others. So, I end up, I can still put up the vlog here tonight. Cause I don't know why the channel to take up. Yeah. So, as we said earlier, I am going to do a vlog over here where I am going to showcase the place better. Yeah, I am going to do also a fishing. I am going to talk to Jamaica in the TV because I don't want to need to expand. They need to expand. You know what? I know what they are doing. They need to spread their wings. Because Jamaica a lot of things that Jamaica can do, I can showcase in the world. You see me? A lot of things. A lot of things. I know, see, you see, they see the water, they nice right me there, so you know how much we took me get to me get from me there, so we have most like 18 minutes. Yeah, man. Love the country, I mean, I like, I just want to wait, I just honestly, God. That could have intervened to fix the crime problem, yeah. yeah I don't know how to we as a people. You know, with their yard, they are corrupt. We go out far in the corrupt against each other. Same. Why we can't love each other? Why we can't help each other? What is it about us, Jamaica? We're very unique, but what is it about our mindset? We need to change our mindset as people. Learn to love each other. Learn to motivate each other. Learn to stop being jealous and a bad man against each other. Learn to, you know, to love each other. You can sit down and reason man to man. We are going to disagree, we are going to have differences. But you know, you can sit down and talk out here. And you know, you can come together and take our differences without it become violent. I have like to kill, you, kill off each other. And you know, do all type of foolishness. Country, Jamaica has a lot of potential. And if you are a Caribbean country, a large industry in Caribbean country, and Jamaica has come a far away in terms of people out here live a lot better. Some things that people live a lot better because there's a poverty at one point. 
was a problem in Jamaica and we see Jamaica is far richer now a little better some of you out there are better than we are far to be honest some of you look better than far more better than we live far you see me you look out there be a big old sitting up below be a big old commercial place we call them different other businesses and whatever whatever but after investment we have a foreign direct investment but yeah, people out there have money and foreigners out there come for invest and buy. Right now in a Kingston, if you want a one bedroom apartment of a 40 million dollar, you can't get it. Which is very sad because money locals and female people are in profession and them lawyers, doctors, they cannot afford it. And that's really sad. They cannot afford it. I look at my auntie and my uncle and my cousin what they say in Jamaica and other things that build up out here now. But you see, if you're a big businessman or in a business you make a piece of food in Jamaica or a foreigner, most of these properties are being built. Either a foreigner build them or a big businessman out there. Look for the people and they push off uh, the place out there. Uh. You call the place there again in the news and put them in place. Because of leeching them and they want to do it. Uh, one time they say it was agricultural land. They want to use agriculture. So yeah, they can't feed themselves and now they must say, all right, most of it. I don't think that is for agriculture. I think most of it and all of it are using housing development. So they push our people and fire a lot and lick them, which the government could have actually talked with them, negotiate with them, come to a you know agreement, yeah, right? We are gonna make you know, pay for the land and we still start building because honestly to build a house out here is very hard. To build a house at Jamaica is not an easy feat. I can tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy. And those feel just come and you know sometimes you know it's short short you think I'm blame them for that people start going the short try to take a shortcut. I mean I'm busy, I try to take shortcut already. You want to climb them crash on my vehicle. And see it cost me, the vehicle alone cost me two hundred and thousand out of the still alone to fix my vehicle. And what I should have done was make you sign a contract and try to say I have a license of references on it. I never mean, do that. They call me as my business partner. I have them information. They want to say I do my own diligence with those checks. You see me? So, some, you see, you try to go a short cut way and try to do things. You always end badly for you. But go back to me and say the government and the people. Andrew, this administration could actually, um, could actually um, talk with them and you know, come to a. You know, a Agreements are right, we are going to make the get the land and whatever. So, then they could have start off with the, the first settlers and start help them, you know, legalize them on the, the land. But because, because, guess what? Big money they behind it, feel land them. So, that's why I said, I'm going to keep them fight, which is so sad. I don't have to tell people about where they're going to help them get their mortgage and whatever, whatever. Really? Really? I have paid energy for about 10 years now. I plan for you to use the benefit to buy one house pretty soon. But it's not as easy as them say out here. Because you pay how much damn energy and tax and whatever. Sometimes <laughs> you don't even forget them benefits. Them, them so called benefits. Them. So it's really sad out here, to be honest. Jamaica is really beautiful, really nice, but quite difficult. People, I'm going to end the video right now. I'm going to say, look out for right now. I vlog over here and look out for some um, rod. I'm going to do some fishing sometime. I don't know, maybe by next weekend or other weekend, I'll link up with my neighbor. I don't know if any Jamaica in the beauty will be a part of it. Hopefully, they are if they're serious. I don't tell them already. I'm going to pick you up and come help you. I'm going to have an idea. I'm going to have a brother. I'm going to have to spread it over here. So, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to end the video right now. Funny moon again. It's a moon. Jesus, it's bright. <laughs> yeah, man. So, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, just like and subscribe. Yeah, so we can grow the channel. Let's see me. I'm going to look for a lot of podcasts pretty soon. I'm going to get really serious about the YouTube thing and the podcast. Yeah. So, I have a lot of interesting people right now <laughs> may I tell you may I have in a YouTube video and the part class you see me 
by Padcha, sir. I follow two locks, but Pad, Pad, Pad class. Padcha. Yeah, man. So let's look out for them. A lot of things are coming on this um, channel. Because I never even do a vlog. But I say, you know, we get some time. I'll hear music. But I know I'm going to do that. Hopefully, I'm going to do a YouTube copyright.